Yeah. I got dreams of living lavish. Rich gang and all. In the kitchen whipping magic. Rich gang and all. I got dreams of living lavish. In the kitchen whipping magic. Bad bitches, bad habits. Yeah. We got London on the track. Man, we out here on Red Road. You know what I'm saying? I get my inspiration from everything I go through, everything I see. Um, my partner's problems, struggle, pain. You know what I'm saying? Just being able to wake up every day. Uh, we were playing some beef. We was just sitting around here about listening. And June put me on the spot. Oh, you know what you think? Go oh, ahead. Yeah. Like, All right, bitch. <laughs> Be hard, I'm thinking, but I'm sitting around ready to be honest. I'm sitting around seeing what everybody else is, what they think. I'm looking around the room like, I don't know. This might not be the one. So I'm like, nah, this the one. Get in there. I told them all I know is pain. I got my name from the pain. Bitch, I came up the pain. You know, we went through a couple of different eras of recording type, so once we realized what we were going to do is be us and not try to catch up and keep up with nobody. We just call the pain. This the one day I was myself. Like, I didn't have to follow the play, follow the script of myself. So if I want to sing, I'm singing. If I want to rap, I want to rap. If I want to talk about my dog, I'm talking about my dog. So I would say this one is my favorite. I put everything into it. I even had, you know, I had two teeth in the back that were messed up. I used to pop me a few pain pills, going there and rap. And you know, we so big on making sure we doing the best we can do with whatever. It was time I rap with my voice was bling, my throat was bling, so uh, this is the toughest project we ever did ever. I was always into music, even when I was young, I just love words. I just used to do poetry for, you know, write it for my mama and whatnot. And um, I don't know, I just I always loved music, so I just caught me a beat and started rapping the poetry. I was young, bro, probably third grade or something like around when Master P Ghetto Dope came out. Third grade, probably. What made me to take it serious was, um, you know, everybody who believed in me and pushed me to keep going. If I was ready to, you know, I went through so much, I felt like I ain't gonna do it no more. So the love and, and, and um, drive that I had for my family, my street family and everything was the reason I pushed me on that. Honestly, if it wasn't for Dunk, I wouldn't even do a lot of this right now. It didn't, it didn't shock me until like later on, like when I had some downtime. It was like, oh shit, bro, we doing this shit for free. We on radio, we on every radio station. This shit crazy. We been shut down and shut out for so long, and like we finally got our chance. So we one of the moments where we were like, uh, yeah, it's time. No more bullshit. We straight doing the beat. I don't even know how it really happened. It's just like one day I woke up, I'm a bird with it. Fell in love with some bitches, had love with some niggas that weren't really with. I didn't know how it existed in none of my.